it was pretty much textbook. It was exactly what everyone said you would experience while having COVID. My sister-in-law in the medical field, I got to the point that she says that I had to call in to the nurse's helpline. She said I need to be in there within four hours. So it was very scary. They brought me through several tests that I had nothing to do with the COVID tests. I told the doctor that I have a pregnant wife at home. We have our one-year-old son. We have no clue how it affects babies yet to be born. And he said, we can't do that. And then he told me that I had a, a presumed diagnosis of COVID. We both work full-time and overtime to pay for daycare. We we're trying to save for his college. We're trying to save to buy a house. That's a big chunk. It's such almost a slap in the face. Bill was passed saying they would cover the COVID test. That's what they kept repeating to me. We'd cover the test if you would have had it. I was like, I told you I didn't have the test, but I went in there for COVID. When the reporter called the insurance company, their first response was, of course, we're covering it. So no matter what we did as individuals, as taxpayers, as paying our insurance bills, of being responsible, doing all this stuff, and they just treated us like we're stupid. With the insurance company, I've never once felt like they thought that they have to keep our business. It just feels like the door's been shut. They just keep taking our money, and then they still want more money. There is a system and a language in place that, in my mind, is abusive and controlling. Without transparency, without communication, you don't have a system that works. Well, sorry, you have a system that works for certain people.